What is up everyone, Unruly here, and today's video we're going to talk over CDL Hardpoint. Now a lot of players are struggling fundamentally to get this game mode, play, like to play this game mode properly. Like there's a lot of fundamentals that go into playing Hardpoint, a lot of people are worried about kills or whatnot on the map, and it, it's getting all these kills is not going to get you the win. Okay, so we're going to go over all the fundamentals and like the perfect setups for each hill rotation and how you should be playing this map. Because, like I said, like players aren't playing, like, they're not playing fundamentally properly. Like, a lot of people are complaining because of like, you have your teammates that are like, oh, dude, I just went 40 and like 13, and I can't believe we lost. Like, I went for, I dropped a 40 bomb for nothing, right? Well, it's because your team's not playing this game fundamentally. So we're going to go through that today. So what I have on the screen now is each hill is labeled 1, hill 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. We're going over Hackney Yards today. And like I said, we're just going to walk over each thing, fundament like go through the fundamentals of how you should, like the rotation, how you should be setting up. And what to like set your team up for success, you know? So we're gonna start off with that first hill. Okay, so this first hill, there's that garage, like it's bottom garage portion kind of ordeal inside of warehouse here. And then top AC. Now these are gen these are your general call outs that most team like most amateur teams or most pro teams go over with. So like so just bear with me here. These are your general callouts. So this is the top AC unit up here. And there's a window there that you come out of, come out and jump out through. Well, not that gets you to middle map, okay? And then underneath, underneath here is actually the hard point. So a lot of players, like initial setup here, okay? So say your team is the A spawn, okay? So that's where you guys are. So you want to send one player up here on this crate wall okay and here's why because crate wall this player that's get sent the crate wall you usually want to send your AR player here your AR player because he's response he or she is responsible for watching all of mid because in this a this B spawn players are coming through here players are gonna come through here because their goal is to flip spawns because they want this next hill after they win the fight here okay So you want an AR player to be watching this middle map section. You want to send another player. Now usually your sub players, usually you want to send three in here. You want to send three in here. You want to send your sub players in here. They want to flood the hill, okay? And usually you could send your second AR player or a sub player up on top scaffolding. That way as you have teammates pushing in here, you can watch bottom L and top L because the opposite team is going to be sending their AR player up on top L because of the window here because of that window right here that's nah, not a good color we'll go with white so because of this window that's up here they get to watch over the push right so you want to be able to your AR your second AR or another sub player wants to make sure that they get the kills done on this hill, okay? That's how you that's how you're gonna set up there. So you're gonna want you're gonna want two of your players or two two of your sub players to jump into the hill, right? Or play within the hill because they're gonna be sending their players through here. You want them to play in there and you want that player to sit over on top scaffolding to cover you or to cover their player your teammates. So you want to sit another person right here on scaffolding. Usually, I would prefer an AR player, but you can run a second sub, or you can run an additional sub player on top of there as your teammates flood this hill. Okay. Now that fifth player, usually your second AR, it'd be good to set up back here and watch this flank. Okay. Good teams will send a player this way. Usually another, usually a sub player. But you can send an AR player because there's only one spot for this hill for another AR player to sit. And that's right here. And with an AR watching mid, you don't want to send anybody this way because it's a free kill. 
So with that, you just send someone up here, and then you can usually run your second guy here. He gets to here, and your other AR players along this wall, you're responsible for getting that kill, so spawns don't flip. So that's how you want to set up with the first hill. Now the second hill is pretty much easy. Say your team gets this pawn, okay? And the second hill is right here. So you want to keep someone, you want to keep someone in and around this white truck area. Or even top scaffolding to prevent them from pushing through the old hill. Say you have that player up at the top here on crate wall, watching over mid. Solid deal. Someone sitting car, or even in this brick building, watching over this half wall, so they can't flood over here into the hill. That's even better. Now you can even sit an AR player. Say you keep a sub here. Say you keep a sub player there. As they're pushing through old, you can keep an AR player up at the top here in order to watch over this section with crate wall or watch old push. Or there's a window here that you can set them here and they can help watch whoever's sitting brick or car as players are flooding in through these two choke points. Because really they have to run through here to get out here or run out and around to get through here. So these are your massive choke points. Right here and right here to push that hill. So sitting players in here, 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 on top of the crate wall, and sit someone inside the hill, it's a perfect setup for there. Clear it all this out. Now, the rotation here is usually a good rotation is if you have this control, if you have control of this area, you can push this out. Because what's going to end up happening is if they don't break this hill or don't flip spawns, they're going to want to back up and set up for the new hill, right? They're going to set up for three, which is the little hutch in the middle of the map. Now how to set up for hutch? You want to sit your AR player in yellow or sit another AR player in green. You're going to want someone to play inside the hill, of course, so that's going to be a sub player. Yellow is going to be responsible for this whole area right here. They're going to be watching bottom and top L. They're going to make sure that nobody that rotates from scrap or mid comes through to the hill. Hutch is going to be responsible for hill time and watching over middle map, okay? And that's the same ordeal with green, okay? Now usually what you can do is you can also send a player up here up in L and watch over the push through here and then you want someone to sit back band okay because what they'll do is pushing off from old they'll rotate out through here and if you have all your players sitting on this back end and one of your opponent is sitting ban here or even gets into dock building it's going to flip those spawns over back back over here back to this section or you might even spawn in here and they win the hill Now I'm moving over from P3 or rotation three. You want to go out through van. It's the easiest way. You get through this door here. You send an AR player up to this top section here, which is top heaven, which a lot of pro players call top heaven. You want to send an AR player and they watch that half wall. Because if they don't win this rotation, if you the opposing team doesn't break this hill, or you don't win that rotation. You're going to be pushing through middle map. You're going to come from forklift to get inside office, which is that bottom, that fourth hill is bottom office, or you're going to be pushing through mid, and you're going to go bottom green. So having an AR player sit up top heaven right here, or even top green to watch that push from mid is going to be solid. Hutch could even pull on, push on out and go into the hill, because if you have a player in Hutch, boom right into the next hill. That same AR player that's sitting there on top heaven or even top hutch watching over mid, that's your responsibility. You're gonna have a player watching over half wall or perhaps even push out of office and watch forklift because your opponent's gonna spawn here or they're gonna spawn here because it's a central hill on the map, okay? It's like right down the middle.
and then you can have one or two players. You can have a player sitting top office and a player inside the hill. Those will be your sub players. You should not and you do not want an AR player inside there because your AR players are responsible for watching this middle map area and this lane here. Now, if they do not win office rotation, this AR player becomes super important because with these spawns here, towards white truck, white crate, or even the second hill, the team that doesn't rotate, that doesn't win the rotation over, they're going to start pushing through here. Or if they win, you're inside, they win this hill back over, they're going to push through van, and you're going to be spawning out where they just spawned, okay? So just to rehash over that, you want a player inside office, that's the hill. You want a player top heaven and top hutch. Those are good spots for your AR players because they can cover this, they can cover this, cover mid, cover here, right? This player might even be able to write, they should be able to anchor out this back section here. So if your players are dying inside the hill, your respawns should be here. As long as your ARs don't let anybody in the hill, okay? Player inside office, player push out to forklift to help put, stop this push here. And a player probably bottom green because you probably want both your sub players in and around this hill. And then even having someone sit yellow to prevent, to block spawns from getting back to the fifth hill, which is dock house or dock building. So that being said, you simp it with pushing back from your office hill to dock building is one of the easiest setups you can do for Hackney Yards. You sit a player top top dock building. They can watch here. They can watch in the mid, right? You send someone top yellow, preferably an AR player because your sub players are going to be responsible for taking care of the sub players pushing into these hills because the sub players are going to flood. Now opposing AR players or opposing subs could possibly climb, will probably climb up on the, on to the overhangs that are on this side of the map. They'll probably go top heaven, they'll probably go top hutch to try to push through because they're spawning out of the hill. So they're going to be, they're going to be pushing through this central choke point here, this choke point here, which is why you want your subs in and around here. Your AR players, you want to have them posted up inside dock building and in around hutch. You probably want them in like bottom hutch and then top yellow. In your sub players, because you're going to have three of them, you could probably play four subs on this map and in around these areas to prevent that. Now, what players often do, or a lot of your sub players, will get super aggressive. And what will happen is, now this person that sits inside the hill here, they're going to be blocking spawns. The, your opponent will not spawn in this area, guaranteed. They might get a close spawn into here, but nobody is going to be spawning this back section. Your teammates are going to be spawning right here and right here. What will end up happening is if, these play, if your opposing team isn't breaking the spawn, they're going to be coming warehouse or they're going to be coming office. Like I said with the central choke points, here and here. You get people posted up, it's that simple. This map definitely is one of the easier maps to play hardpoint on, and it's because you set up this way. If you're setting up any other way than this way, you're going to have a lot of problems stopping, or stopping your opponent from breaking your setup if you set up those certain ways. And if especially with rotation, from A to from the first hill to the second hill, simply backing up. Which shows now rotation over here. You can cycle through the back or push through mid. If your opposing team doesn't break this hill, they're gonna be setting up for mid and they're gonna be stopping you from rotating.
teams should be rotating in this game at at least 30 seconds, 20 to 30 seconds depending on the map. This map you could probably rotate at 20, other maps you should be rotating around 30. But then from your rotation on, from 3 is right to 4, right to 4 in here. Your teammates should be pushing into this door and pushing into this door to get secure of this building, and you should be sending a player upstairs. Because this upstairs window will cover forklift. If they're at the bottom of the stairs, they'll cover the half wall door. And then your rotation from three to four, if you have that proper setup of having a player up here and a player up here, your team can just back up. They'll back up and win five. And that's really how you should be playing back Hackney Yard Hardpoint. But that's going to do it for this video. If you guys have any questions, comments, or if, I, if there was something that you disagreed on in the, uh, today's lesson, um, feel free to leave that in the comments below. Kind of new to this, but I understand all the aspects of this game for the most part. And uh, my job is to educate all of you. And I appreciate you guys stopping by. Like I said, if you have anything, any comments down, just put it down below. Appreciate it.